engine. Well, pretty much anyway. Missing injectors, we're missing a few bits and bobs. Um, I've sort of rushed to put it together as you've seen. And I'm just going to take you through what I've done now. Of course the cylinder has gone on. As you can see, it's all in one part. But I'll give you some torque settings and we'll go from there. It's not timed up yet. As you see, that's a bit slack. I need to get the tool for that because it's a specialist tool and we'll go through that in the next videos. And what else do I need to do to it? Start the turbo on the back. But most of the hard work is done. That's it. So what should we say? Certain thread goes on, of course. And the torque settings for that is 30 Newton meters and then 180 degrees. And again, we work from a spiral from the center outwards. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There might be more, I can't remember. How many is there? Is there eight or is there 10 volts? I think there's eight. But anyway, and it's down. Hydraulic tappets go in, your rockers go in, drop your cams in. But your cams, if you have a look on the back, they have a half moon. And one is slightly bigger than the other. And you want the smaller one aiming upwards. So you loop them up. Drop them in, and then clean all your rocker cover up again. Nice little bead of silicone all the way around. You don't need to go mental, otherwise they just squirt out everywhere. But all the way around and round your spark plug holes. Drop that on. Make sure you've got your bolts in the right order, because they're different lengths, so make sure you took them out and put them in the right order. Pull all those back in and slowly nip it down. You don't want to be forcing it all the way, just literally Little turns all the way round. Start from the outside, in, just work it round until it's flush. Then they are 12 newton meters, all these. Same with the little breather cover that goes on the back. They're 12 as well. It's really easy to pull the threads out of those, so make sure you're doing a 12. And of course it's clamping your cam in. So you don't want to over tighten them, otherwise you're crushing your cam, you're going to cause damage. So 12 newton meters again, remember that. And then your head's on, that's it. Um, apart from the timing, your head's on, your cover's on, your cams are in. Bottom half of your inlet goes on, and they are 21 newton meters for your bolts along here. I think it's the same for your rail here. It could be 12, I'd have to check. I put it on the screen anyway. Top half of your inlet goes on, 12 newton meters. I've done the back ones to 21. But the little ones along the front are 12. I've actually got drilled straight through, studding that all the way through. Because they rip out and it's just easier. Nut and bolt and it's done, isn't it? Same on the back. Coil pack goes in, which I've lent to Josh at the minute, so he stole that for his track car. And that is 12 new metres again, aluminium. And they are. Oh, don't forget to put your bloody. HT leads in before you put your cover on. Spark plugs are 25 to 30 newton meters. I've done 30, they fell a little bit looser, 25. What else? Um, that's loose, and that's just from my feed for the turbo. Thermostat housing, again, I think it's 13. I've done them 16 or something, because I don't know if it's 13. Didn't feel that tight. So I gave it a little bit more. In here, there's water and oil mixing, so you don't want the two paths to cross, so make sure you seal them up with a new gasket. I've actually got a new gasket on a very bead of silicon around that. And there you are, that's on. So, I need to get the timing tools to time this up. We can go through that together, because they're a twat to time. It's all these floating pulleys, but it means you can put the belt on. Oh, the belt's on. But, we we'll do that next. Um, I think it's 20 newton meters for the knock sensor. I'm sure it's about 20 for the oil filter as well. I've got a caller to go on there, so that's not going on yet. I've got to get this out of the house as well, so light as possible, and it's got to fit out the doorway, so I can't have it too wide. Uh, well, it's water pump and all that we're going through next time. But as you can see, we have an engine. It's looking pretty ish, a bit of red paint, a bit of black. It's only rough, it looked better in the picture, I think, but there you are. So, thank you for watching, 
and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. You get to see it going in soon, so hopefully. I need to get my clutch repaddled. And um, flywheel bolts. 55 newton meters for your flywheel bolts. So, yeah. See you next time. Thank you.